pumpkin season, I thought it would be kind of fun to make a pumpkin recipe, and one that actually uses real pumpkin instead of artificially flavored pumpkin syrup. I think pancakes are a great recipe to incorporate pumpkin because pumpkin adds moisture without adding oil and too much fat. It adds fiber and a really nice color, and of course, some good pumpkin flavor to your pancakes. So this is a really basic recipe. I used a little ground ginger and cinnamon in order to sort of give those warm fall flavors. A little bit of canned pumpkin is fine, just what you'd find at the grocery store. And then really basic, we're talking just flour and milk, a little baking powder and soda, salt, sugar, and an egg, and we're good to go. Don't worry about lumps. Don't overmix your pancakes. You just wanna make sure that the batter is moist and well incorporated, but don't whip out those lumps or you will have tough pancakes. For the best flavor, you wanna make sure you use butter. You could, of course, use canola oil or anything that's gonna you know, really amp up those nonstick properties, but I really prefer butter just because of the flavor. So just keep an eye on them. Remember, low and slow, and don't be overzealous with your flipping. You really wanna only flip those pancakes once, so wait until they're a little dry around the edges and they have some bubbles coming up, and then is the time to flip your pancake. The real key to any good pancake, especially here in New England, is real maple syrup. This is not a place to skimp, so serve a little pat of butter, a little bit of warmed up real maple syrup, preferably from New England, and you have the perfect fall breakfast. Be sure to subscribe to the Boston Globe YouTube channel to keep up with the latest smart cooks.